Hey, um, hope everybody's doing okay. Um, been working with the uh, Raspberry Pi Pico, um, play around some more. Working on PWM, um, it's PWM's kind of daunting when you look at the SDK. There are 30 um, SDK functions related to PWM, which is kind of, I don't want to say ridiculous, but a lot. Um, PWM is a little different on the on the Raspberry Pi Pico um, than other boards like the PIX and the AVRs and or any other um, microcontroller that I've ever used. Um, it's flexible um, and you can drive any P any pin as a PWM. And you can have up to 16 at a time. Um, so it's got eight channels, and each channel has a high side and a low side. And so that allows to attach two GPIOs to per channel. So um, in this particular example, I have only one attached. And um, I've got it set at 2K hertz. Um, for the for the frequency and then i'm um, driving it or excuse me setting the duty cycle starting at 50 and then dividing that down um, several times um every two seconds so, so um i used five or six functions total um inside the code and the code it will be listed um I don't pay spin. So it is it's like I said, it's it's just different. So um it may take some getting used to. Um the functions I have will allow you to set a um frequency and a duty cycle. And I borrowed some code um from the MicroPython MicroPython project for the RPI. So um, and I did get, give credit where credit's due inside there in the code. You'll see that. Um, one thing I did notice that after about 10 K Hertz, the code in the MicroPython stuff seems to break down. Um, so I don't know because the, the, the chip will do, uh, I've had it over two megahertz doing PWM playing with it last night. But um, I'm going to look at the MicroPython code and see um, if, it's, if it's showing the same symptoms I'm seeing. But anyway, um, hope this helps. Thanks a lot.